Just you try camp day three here in Poland. And I've got to tell you today was wonderful, but I don't remember that much. It kind of went fast. There was a lot of things going on. My body was in pain. I'll tell you about that in the tips of uh, of the camp for for day three. And uh, it, today was good because I did learn uh, some things, but I, I, I don't remember uh, exactly everything. But uh, one of the things is the five elements, which is in the ending section of today, day three. Uh, and day three was a, what is today? It was a Monday. It's already past 12, but it was uh, a Monday, August 3rd. So uh, in looking at what we did, we did five elements, fire, wood, metal, earth, water. And we went through those uh, together saying, okay, you know, earth becomes this, metal splits and goes forward and then and then drops down and then becomes water and water comes up. And we gave descriptions to each and every single one of them um, to make them more memorable, but to, uh, to allow us to see what exactly was happening among all these elements, you know, earth and and, uh, and the fire taking place and, and the switching between them. So we, we went through the five elements and uh, we went semi-in-depth. Not all the way, but I, I could see what was going on, what was happening. Okay? And afterwards, uh, we, did, uh, we did the 15 exercises. We just did a run through the 15 exercises. This is my friend. He just came in. Hi, do you want to say hello? <laughs> Chase? Oh, who is this? There's no one. I'm Nobody? just. There's no one. It is. It's just an explanation of what's going oh, on. Okay. Hi. Okay, you're coming up. You're coming up. <laughs> we have. There's a lot of fun going on here. You can see. With this guy, we we just we just we just we just, just we're just having a ball. <laughs> Should have seen us. We're, we're dancing and stuff today, and talking in Polish and Russian and whatever else. God knows what. Okay. 15 exercises. We went through them. No explanation and exposure to the 15 exercises. And that's because I believe they just wanted us to, 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 to get a feel of 15 exercises without any explanation. Just here it is. So that our body, our mechanics can get used to the 15 um, basic, basic exercises. So we can see what they were. So we can feel a little bit. And I believe that they're going to go further in depth tomorrow. Uh, or, or today, rather, uh, which is going to be day four. So, again, they went through the 15 basic exercises. It was simply exposure. I think that was great because it's a lot. It's a lot of information. If you go into detail for each and every single one of the 15 basic exercises, you're going to be talking for the entire day uh, or something similar to that. So uh, this exposure was really good for us, and I enjoyed it. S another thing that I noticed was the hip ball roll, um, rolling on the hips. Oh, this is one of the things that, that we were doing. Uh, we actually stood in the 45-degree stance, and he had us holding our hands here. Uh, and we wouldn't move. We weren't moving our hands. We were having our body go up and down, rolling on our ball. Uh, twelve o'clock, you know, uh, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, back to twelve o'clock, again, and again, in our bodies, you know, uh, uh, to feel how it was. And so we're this, right now. You can see I'm moving my hand. I'm doing an exaggeration. But when your body is doing it, it'll naturally go up and down, and you'll see how your fingers move. So it, it was a sort of awareness of what your body was doing and a noticing by having a hands positioned here of what you were doing. Um, so we were doing the the hip ball roll uh, again and again to see how it was, and then we did it in reverse also. Okay, um, very fun stuff. We also did the hip ball roll with our hands swinging, okay, to the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 3 and 9 o'clock position. So we would come up, come up, and go to the the 12 o'clock, uh, you know, and, and, then, and then we would see how it would be if we did hip ball roll backwards and see coming up to the 6 o'clock position and having a and, and condensing at that, or at least it seemed like in condense at that portion, to, to have our hands stop there. Okay, um, and the same thing for the side, going up and coming to the side. But in the motion that we've been taught, which is sort of like how the, the, the spinning hands and the five elements technique is, whereby 
our hands are going up, and, and you know the twelve, the the whole clock of going up and down, the circle. So, so that was something that we did. Um, also, this this the diagonal sagittal going going up and boom down on both sides from the rolling and and keeping this hip ball roll and noticing it constantly, concentrating and being aware of our hip ball roll at each and every single um, moment that we were doing these exercises up. Uh, to the side, not straight, not up and down, but to the side, okay? And the same thing for down below. So those were not the 12 and, and 3, 9 positions, but there were, those were halfway, the 45 degree sections, okay? So we did that with the hip bar roll and always being aware of the hip, uh, the, the, the ball of the hip. Uh, we also did, uh, and that was the, really the diagonal strikes that you, that you just noticed, um, with with the looseness that is a part of the hand and, and keeping that going um, and also watching the line so things don't cross over into other past the center line um, but staying in your um, in between your body line so you define this as the body line this is the center line am I correct? center line? the head center line? this is center line? midline? Yeah, it's uh, axis it's axis. Just axis, yeah. It may, I'll figure it out and I'll write it down in the description. <laughs> and this is the shoulder line. Okay? So you're not going past with your hand and, and this mid midline is what I'm calling it right now. But uh, you you'll find it in the description what's uh, what it should be called. Always verify. Remember I'm not a I'm not an instructor, okay? <laughs> I'm just going over what we learned. Okay. Um I'm getting a cramp, so that's why I'm moving. Gotta stretch out the leg. Okay, another thing we did was a slap hand partner drill. And because I'm getting cramped, I'm going to stand up. So this is an opportune moment for me to stand up. And one partner would uh, uh, jet out his hand like this. Again, do it like this. And again, do it like this. Uh, that was your, your training dummy would do that. But they're, you're, they're active and going to your to midline. And the other person would stand a distance away from them. And they would go and hit one hand here. Hit with the other hand. Coming across. So that person's hand would be right there, and they would come slap, 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 and that one, after the second slap, the other individual will stick their other hand out to get the other two slaps. Slap, slaps. And this, I, the, the ex explanation I'm not really clear on, but I'm going to see if I can understand that it, it, was, it was really a good practice of the axis turning, turning from side to side here, and seeing how, how the body was. And, and, and moving back and forth in that in that way, so that was a sort of the slap hand partner drill, uh, and uh, another exercise we did uh, was the the earth to metal exercise, which that was very fascinating. Uh, so we picked these two elements a part of the five elements from the five elements, and we had earth. So on your partner would push on earth. You would step to the side and split earth to metal. So, so this is metal splitting. So earth becomes the metal split. And then we would go forward, expanding forward. We have that expansion and we would turn and go forward. So first is the this, uh, this small twisting while moving forward. Actually, it was it's a moving forward and also twisting. I'm not sure I'm not explaining it right. Uh, do you know how uh, he's resting? So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna explain it how I how I think it was is I think it was us move as it was projecting and then a um, and then a movement uh, of of twisting our hands forward so that we were actually so we were projecting at that time. Um, but you'll have to verify. That's it. Just verify. Okay? <laughs> um, and, and that exercise was pretty interesting. So we switched sides and we did that earth to metal split. And then we, the, so that was a back step and then a forward step. But the back step was moving to the side. Uh, and then we would come forward. Uh, and the th coming forward, we would come sort of to the side a little bit. It didn't matter too much, but we have to make sure that we're aware of our opening and closing in our body. What was happening there? Okay? That's it. For, for what I remember for today, uh, it didn't seem like that much. One, two, so the five elements, 
uh, practice of that. The 15 exercises going s just jettisoning through there, getting a uh, exposure, which is beautiful, like getting exposure. The hip ball roll, looking at our our hips and, and the motion, uh, the circle that's that we're trying to articulate, to understand, to be draw attention to. Looking at the slap hand partner drill, which is the one, two, three, fourth thing, fifth thing, the earth to metal exercise, which is the last thing that I remember. And, and maybe I'll come up with more, maybe I won't. But take care. Bye.